Hello everybody. Today's demonstration is about creating a C-sharp DLL that we will use within a project. First of all, we're going to open up Visual Studio 2022 and we're going to create a new project. We are going to call it a Windows desktop project and with a .NET framework and we're going to hit next. <clears throat> we're going to call it demo. And it's using framework 4.7.2, but this will work with every framework that you've got. The principles are the same. It's basically a class that it consists of several uh, methods that you can call, probably se several properties that you can also uh, put values into, and you can use them within your project. So here, I've created a Windows project, which we are then going to use our DLL shortly. So first of all, I'd just like to rename a few, rename that to a, a more sensible name rather than the default that it comes in as. On this particular form, we're going to put two text boxes, one label and one button. So, so we've got a button, a label, and two text boxes. Oh, put them all in the top corner, okay. Just tidy up a little bit. So I'm just gonna put there. Um, our DLL is going to be very simple and not doing anything too clever. And it's going to have two methods that we can call. One, which will be multi adding two numbers together and one will be multiplying two numbers together. I'm going to label up the, the values properly because uh, just it's good practice to do this. Text number two, the value in a zero, just to default it. Our label, LDL answer whatever the answer is going to be. And actually that's the wrong answer. And then further up the chain, I'll answer. Our button is going to be BTN go. And I'm going to put the label as go. So there's our form set up. Um, I'm not going to do any more to that. We're going to do some work on the button behind the scenes shortly, but before that, we've got to go and create our class. Now we're going over to select the solution part of the Solution Explorer, and we're going to say add a new project. We're going to choose C Sharp Windows Library, and we're going to go down till we find the class, um, this one here, the class library.net framework. Click on there, hit next. I'm just going to call it demo class for no other reason than that seems a good name to call it for what we're trying to do. Here we have the, the first class. We're going to rename this to be my numbers. That's what I would like to call it. The first thing we're going to create is what's called the constructor. Um, in this instance, we have nothing that we want to do with it. So we're just going to leave it blank and just, just make it available so that um, it's there to be used. And, it's, and I'm just gonna put a note in there. And this is the construct. Now we're going to create two methods that are public and they are going to return uh, an integer and the first one is going to call add numbers. We're going to take in two parameters, number and number two. It's going to return very simply and IntelliSense in this instance has jumped up and said, this is what I'd like to write. And that's exactly what I'd like to write. So I just leave it as that. 
I do need to correct the spelling of that and say make sure it's add, but apart from that, that's all it's going to do. We will now create a second um, method and call it uh, same again. Number spell on call it int number two. And this time we're going to return number and it's IntelliSense is very clever. It's come back up and said exactly what I'd like to do. And that is all I would like to do within there. Now we're going to go over to the demo project. Now at the moment within this solution, these two projects do not know about each other. So we're going to add a reference in the demo to reference the demo class, which we do add, add a reference, and we look down and we go into projects. You'll see on the left-hand side there's projects and it should appear in the list here. So we can tick that and hit OK. Now they are connected. They don't know what to do with each other, but they are connected. So next, we're going to go into back onto our Windows form and I'm going to go behind the code that's in the button. What we're going to do here, we're going to do an error, some error checking to make sure that the uh, class will be able to work. I haven't put any error checking in the class, so we're going to do a small amount of error checking here, and then we're going to do the actual the actual work. So I'm going to create a variable, which is a boolean, which is true or false. Um, and it's going to be OK, and I'm going to start it off as true. All will become clear, and I'm going to put down here, if OK equals true. And if every all the checks are OK, what will happen is it will get to this point. And I'm going to put the checks just a bit the next uh, level up. I'm now going to reference the DLL, which is demo class. And then I'm going to reference the class within it, which we call my numbers. The variable I'm going to call it is CLS. And I'm going to make it equal a new demo class dot my numbers and IntelliSense has helped there. If everything is okay, we're going to say LBL answer, which is the label that we put on the screen, dot text equals CLS, which is our reference. And I'm going to say add, as you can see, our numbers there, add two numbers. And I'm going to put in number one, which we're going to create in a moment. And we're going to push in the, the result variable two, number two. Go a bit higher up. So, so, oh, I forgot to put my, we've got squigglies. They will disappear in a moment. We're going to create two variables. Number one, we're going to create two variables, integers, number one, and we're going to default it to zero, int number two, or we're going to default that to zero, two. And as you see further down, these should disappear. And I forgot to put on the end to string. Now I'll explain what's going on there in a moment. So now we're going to do some error checking. And what we're going to try is this, it's a tri, called a try pass. And if the results of the try are correct, it will then populate the variables number one and number two. So it's an if statement. And we're going to say int dot try pass open bracket whatever the value is in number one dot text. So whatever the user has typed it in. And then we're going to say out, which is exactly what IntelliSense has chosen there. So we shall select that. So what it's saying is we're going to try pass whatever the value is in text number dot text. And we're going to output the results into number one if they are indeed a number. So what we're going to say then is if we turn it into a not, so we put our exclamation mark in front, what we're saying, if it is not a number, do this next bit. So we're going to say number text equals, and I'm going to say number one is not a valid, a valid number. I'm going to say text number one dot set focus, focus, let's just focus. I'm going to say 
text number one dot focus. And we're going to say OK equals false, which means it will drop out without actioning this particular bit here. Now we want to do exactly the same thing for number, the number two value. So hit two. The results are going to go into number two. If it's wrong, we're going to make the, the label equal whatever that is. And we're going to set the focus of that to there. And that in its entirety is the, is the program from start to finish. So with a bit of luck, when we press play, there it is. So a small window, if I can grab a hold of it. Right. So it's got zero and zero. And so if we put in the number two and number three and hit go, it says our answer is number five. Put bigger numbers in. You can see that it's working. If we decide to put letters in there and hit OK, it says number one is not a valid thing. We should make that a bit bigger just so you can see the whole message. If we make that a number and then we do this one as a character, it then says number two is not a valid number. But what, if you wanted to, you can then change the add two numbers. If we change, remove that and say multiply two numbers, which was the other method that we created. First of all, we do the test where we put some characters in. Yeah, it's not valid. That's fine. Um, so we hit that and we'll put 12, put 12 12s, 144. Perfect. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Uh, let me know in the comments and then and I can try and do some more of these. Thanks for watching.